Hello, welcome to Bob's Dungeon. My name is Bob, and I'll be your host. This video is the first video in my look at Dungeons & Dragons 3rd Edition. Dungeons & Dragons 3rd Edition had kind of two releases. The first was the regular 3rd Edition Dungeons & Dragons. A few years later, they came out with a revised edition of it, often referred to as Dungeons & Dragons 3.5. I have all three of the 3rd edition core rule books, but I only have one of the 3.5 books. The 3.5 book I have is the Player's Handbook, so I'll be looking at it a little bit with the regular 3rd edition handbook. Just kind of letting you know what kind of differences there are between the two of them. When 3rd edition came out, one could see the beginnings of what would, with later editions, be known as the Edition Wars. People were just kind of weird when the new editions came out and would refuse to play it, wanting to stick with their own. I cut my teeth in 2nd edition, but I've played a lot of 3rd edition and I really enjoy 3rd edition a lot. But without wasting any more time, let's, let's get into this. First let's talk about what you need to play this game. To play this game, you'll need a copy of all three core rule books, which consist of the Player's Handbook, which is what we'll be talking about in this video, the Dungeon Master's Guide, which is what we will talk about in the next video, and the Monster Manual, which we will also talk about in the next video. You will also need a full set of dice, which consists of a 20-sided die, a 12-sided die, preferably two 10-sided dice for rolling both percentiles and tens, an 8-sided die, a 6-sided die, and a 4-sided die. The Player's Handbook has 286 pages in it plus an additional 15 pages with some low-level monsters and information on crafting treasure. The reason being is because the Player's Handbook came out and the Dungeon Master's Guide wasn't going to be released for yet another month and then yet another month after that they were going to release the Monster Manual. So they provided you a little bit of extra information in this book, so you could go ahead and get started. This book also has a copyright of 2000 and is published by Wizards of the Coast. The 3.5 book has 317 pages in it, but does not include the extra pages with low-level monsters and stuff in it. Though, it does have clarifications in a lot of the rules, and some of the other changes, just minor things. The gnomes, the dwarves, and the half-elves each gain one extra ability, and some of the uh, abilities for the classes are changed up a little bit, reworded, so it looks like they have more things. In a way, it makes it a little easier to understand them. Um, it also, the only class that saw any real significant change was the Ranger. Other than that, the books are pretty much exactly the same. So we're just going to stick with talking about the third, regular 3rd third edition player's handbook. But other than clarifications and stuff, they're pretty much the same. The 3rd uh, edition player's ha handbook has a copyright of 2000, 
while the 3.5 book has a copyright of 2003. The artwork in this book is pretty good. It ranges from full color to kind of a black and white done up to look like character sketchings. So let's, let's take a look at that artwork. The book contains both black and white and color pictures throughout the book. With most of the black and white pictures being shown as character sketches. However, there are some tr more traditionally done black and white pictures in the book. Unlike earlier editions, there are no full page color pictures in this book. With most of the color pictures seeming to pop up in the middle of the pages amongst the written words in this book. The game has your standard array of attributes found in every edition of Dungeons and Dragons, which are strength, which is your physical strength, how much you can lift, carry, that kind of thing. Your constitution, which is a general rating of how healthy you are. Your dexterity, which is basically how well you move. Your hand-eye coordination, that kind of thing. Your intelligence, which is basically your IQ, your book learning. Your wisdom, which is a rating of how wise you are, how gullible you are, that kind of thing. And your charisma, which is how well people react to you. To roll these, you'll need three six-sided dice. And you roll them, add them together, and they're your attributes. There are other ways to roll them. And the book will go over various options for you to choose your attributes. There's blink, there's point placement, and that kind of thing. It gives you various options. After your attributes, you'll want to figure out what race you are. The races in 3rd edition consist of humans, half-elves, elves, dwarves, half-orcs, halflings, and gnomes. After that, you'll want to pick a class. The classes consist of barbarians, bards, clerics, druids, fighters, monks, Paladines, rangers, rogues, sorcerers, wizards, that's your lot. Multiclassing is available in this edition as well. Multiclassing works different as it did in previous editions. Now it's no longer just an option for non human classes. Anybody can multiclass human, elf, dwarf, anything. And all you do in the multi-classing is, as you gain levels, uh, if you decide you want to add a level of a different class to your character, you just take a level of that new class for that level. And you can switch back and forth, or even add a third or fourth class, if you wish, when you gain a new level. There is a section in here on equipment after you've figured out the rest of your stuff for your character. So you can equip your character with weapons, armor, and other things to help him in his adventure career. There is a section here for determining your character's alignment. And like the other two editions before it, it has three main alignments, which are lawful, neutral, and chaotic each of which are broken into three smaller portions good, neutral, and evil giving you a full array of nine alignments this book also has a large section on magic discussing how the spells work and what type of spells there are this book also has the full rules on combat in it so, the players have all that laid out for them. Also within this book 
or the section is a section on skills which have more of a bearing on the characters than in previous editions. You also have feats for your characters. Feats provide your character with specializations and other things they can do that previously weren't available to them. The third edition of Dungeons & Dragons uses the Greyhawk campaign setting as its core campaign setting. So there's a section on gods in here for your clerics which uses the gods from Greyhawk which Greyhawk is one of my personal favorite settings. We'll talk about Greyhawk in another video. This book has everything you'll need to maintain and build a character throughout your character's career. Lastly, the only thing I can really say about it is in the back of the book, the regular third edition came with a computer disc so you could build your characters online. The 3.5 book did not come with that. The third edition is a pretty good edition. We'll talk about more about it in the next video when we look at the Dungeon Master's Guide and the Monster Manual. But that's really all I have to say about the Player's Handbook for right now. Thanks for joining me at this brief look at the what we can find inside the player's handbook. Bye.